practice and I was busily trying to clean out my emails for a Friday afternoon. What the heck has gone on there? Who cares? We'll just put a hat on the hair. It is chilly today, hence why I've got all of the things and the stuff rugged up and we are still inside. We've just closed up the curtains because we could feel the cold coming through the windows. I, I had a fantastic day yesterday. Uh, Sherry Shockey Pope's daughter, Kelsey, came to visit and I got to travel around the beautiful Blue Mountains here and oh, just appreciate the grandeur of this place that I get to call my home. And it was just breath a breathtaking day breathtaking when you opened your mouth too because it was freaking cold but it was um stunning and and the air at this time it's it's kind of an interesting because we're way above sea level well, we're a thousand meters above sea level we're high compared to other parts of australia um the air's just really clear it's um lacking smog huh? and we'd had some wind a couple of days beforehand so it was just so clear we could see for such a long way and uh, we got to enjoy some really gorgeous scenery and it was fun to meet her so that was a internet connection that um she's a she's a cool chick we should watch out for what kelsey's up to because uh, she's going to take this world by storm so it's been an interesting week as i start my preparation for the eight week countdown until i go to europe hello beck mcmurray who's going to get a huge shout out in a minute um so my i'm down to seven weeks and two days before we leave and as you know i've been working on how i improve my business practices and what is it that needs to change about me and what is it that i need to improve and work on here in the business to allow me to go away and have a month off a lot of words need a sip of water i think after reflecting on all of the uh tasks activities things that have gone on for me this week I would suggest that I have been the overcomplication queen. So I have um, become very good. We have got so many events and we've got some big projects underway at the moment. And I still fall into this trap where I feel like I need to have it all sorted before I ask people to help. And I know I'm not alone. I've been talking about this a bit this week, but it just became so evident today. And, and Beck McMurray is one of the people who helped me. She's gonna help me with a, with a project. And I gave us an hour to debrief, talk about, plan, strategize, implement, allocate. 20 minutes, we were done. And I think my comment to her was, well, I've obviously overcomplicated this and let's go do something else for the next 40 minutes. She was clear, she had certainty, she told me what the deliverables were gonna be. And there's this whole chunk of work now that I can just go, that's gonna be done and Beck knowing me so well goes and I'll just report back to you and let you know what I'm working on and when I'm working on it because you know control freak likes to know everything um and then you know of course I, I talk to Sophie first thing in the morning about you know what's going on in my head and the things that we need working on and she comes up with solutions so is this I think this might be my challenge for this eight weeks. It's got nothing to do with what piece of paper needs to go where, or do we need more resource, people resources, which we do by the way. Um, but it's more about me getting out of the way and working out where I'm holding up our processes again, where I'm holding up things again. So a couple of times today, I found myself wanting to solve a problem myself. And then I've gone, no, I'm gonna empower the person that was asking me a question on how to do this so that if I'm not here, it doesn't it can still be done and it's not all reliant on on me so this is what it takes to build a business and when people start talking about your building a business or the business you're building as being your own personal growth journey i can assure you <laughs> that every even 10 years on there are things that you are still growing into and developing and um yeah sometimes you can leave you feeling a little vulnerable a whole lot of insecure <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I look forward to seeing what we can take a hold of next week. But the um, yes, Beck, thinking of it as collaboration is is probably the smartest way to go or clarification or confirmation. Lots of C words here. Lots of really good C words. I think the other thing I realized this week is that I have incredibly unrealistic expectations of what eight weeks could look like. And not because I want to put too much in it, but I think we get 
concerned that eight weeks is going to go so fast because we're so used to the speeding up of time or the escalation of time and we're so used to cramming more and more in things in and we're so used to working from this place of urgency that there is this fear that if I don't have it done by week two then I can't succeed by week eight. Um, so I've actually spent some time today going I need this done by these weeks and this done by these weeks and this done by these weeks and whether it it just gives me a framework to go, hey, I'm not so behind. I'm not worrying about the future. I'm not living in that anxiety state of this can't get done. What if I fail? What if it's all bad? What if I die of humil humiliation, embarrassment and shame and everything is awful? And it was an interesting reflection because I hear a lot of practice building clients or prospective practice building clients making the same expectations of themselves. It's like, I want to build another stream of income so that I can look after my family into my future. And it's like, okay, but then they want it tomorrow. Or um, you know, I need to build my team. And instead of pacing out how you're going to build your team and what are the things and the, the elements that you need to travel with you as you build your team, it's just, I want the team tomorrow. And I'm just going to go and recruit all these people and not have any infrastructure in place to support those people. Been there, done that, got that t-shirt, don't be Joe. So as we are moving into the weekend, I am curious to know what you're going to celebrate this week. So I'm celebrating the fact that I've recognized already <laughs> my need to get out of the way, uncomfortable, but it's going to make everybody's life so much easier, better and more lovely when I do that. And I'm just grateful, incredibly grateful for the grace of the people around me. Um, my husband, my son, Sophie, people like Beck, Kylie Worry, Sonia Judd, all the people around me who can go, Joe, we'll sort it out. We'll just sort it out. It's okay. I love that. Who doesn't want a team of people like that? I need to just be more grateful and not try and fix it for them all the time. So what are you celebrating this week? What has made your heart sing about the week? Have you achieved something, done something, experienced something? Have you finished with a client and you go, hey, I got to discharge a client this week. Have you brought on brand new clients and go, hey, my marketing, my five favorite people networking conversations is working. I have booked myself in for a conference. I have booked myself in to do something I've always wanted to do. <laughs> My son tells me that he is going on vacation next Friday and a part of his vacation is he's going skydiving. He's doing that in another state where I can't see him. Um, I don't know why I'm sharing that with you apart from the fact that Anthony, I'm still unsure if this is a smart move, dude. Anywho, I would love to read your comments below about what you're celebrating, what your challenges have been this week and what you're really proud of yourself about. I think. We need to get better at acknowledging this about ourselves and making sure that we uh, measure our progress, it might, not just by the money in the bank, not by the number of clients, not by the things on our to-do list, but by our own sense of fulfillment, because that is going to give us the motivation, the mindset, the passion, the willingness to do, keep going and turn up again next week. So as it's Friday, you know what I'm going to say next. I want you all to make sure that you take time to replenish this weekend. What are you going to do to fill your own tank? Uh, meeting up with a friend of mine who works as a missionary with young children, like tiny little people in uh, Cambodia tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to seeing her. I haven't seen her for nearly a year. Uh, I'm going to hang out with my husband. And um, I think we're going to go buy a brand new fry pan because we're kind of sick of our non-stick fry pan that's become a completely sticking fry pan so yay us house things happening on the weekend so looking forward to sharing with you next week we have a purple comb wine o'clock happening on tuesday so it's going to be lovely to get back with the team again looking forward to seeing everybody hugs all around bubbles all around and i get to share with them some of the great stuff that we've got going on so share with me below what's happening with you what you're celebrating and i look forward to talking to you next week